I'm Christy Freeland. This week, my new show, Freeland File, comes to you from Davos. And I am really lucky to have the chance to speak to two of the smartest thinkers and political figures that I know, Joe Stiglitz, the Nobel Prize winning economist, and Peter Mandelson, the British and European politician. A another issue that is coming up here at Davos and in you know the global political conversation right now is the whole issue of world trade. We heard Angela Merkel talking about it. President Barack Obama spoke about it in his State of the Union address earlier this week. And, and one thing that I took away particularly from the State of the Union address was a growing concern in the United States with the impact of China trade, particularly on employment. And you know there is still, I think, a bipartisan free trade commitment, but a concern about being sure that it's fair, driven, I think, by these employment consequences. Joe, is, is, is that right? Should oh, we be worried that there's a protectionist wave coming? Oh, I think one should be worried. Let me say that this has always been said to be, you know, the economic theory is very clear. When you bring together uh, uh, countries with you might call disparate endowments, they have a lot of unskilled labor, medium-skilled labor. Uh, what happens when you bring together countries w which are very different, like the United States and China, what happens is that the wages in the uh, high-wage country get depressed down. This was predictable. Uh, full globalization would in fact mean the wages in the United States would be the same as the wages in China. That's what you mean by a perfect market. We don't like that. The advocates of globalization never were honest about that's where the direction they were pushing. Now, of course, uh, what is supposed to happen is, you know, the, the theorem that, that is that globalization could make everybody better off if we took some of the profits that came to the firms and redistributed them to the workers, then everybody could be better off. So globalization could make everybody better off, but it's not doing it. And it's totally understandable. The median worker, the typical worker in the United States today, full-time male workers say, his income today is the same as it was a third of a century ago. Trade is only one part of it, but it is one part, and it's something that people feel like they can do something about. And so I think we're going to see uh, this kind of pressure unless we get better redistributive policies within the United States and Europe. So, Peter, are, I think maybe you're one of these nefarious advocates of globalization Joe was I talking and about. I remain a strong advocate of globalization. Look, uh, I happen to think within the United States and elsewhere in advanced economies, technological change uh, has had a much greater impact on job displacement and job churn uh, uh, than uh, trade. I also like the idea that globalization and global growth is lifting literally tens of millions of people out of poverty. Uh, around our globe. Even so hundreds. I like that too. <laughs> but, but what I do accept, and you know, I've just been leading a year's work for the centre-left think tank in Britain. The Institute Give it to me, I'll lift it up. The and Institute of Public Policy Research. Can we buy this book or do we download it? You can probably do either, I'm not sure. Um, Look for this book. It's very good. It's a very, very good report. The third wave it, of globalization. What, it, what it's saying, Christy, is very important. It's addressing absolutely directly the point that Joe uh, uh, has made. Globalization is far better than protectionism. Protectionism is, is a cul-de-sac. It will destroy very many more jobs and incomes than globalization will. But it has to be managed in a way. And what people need I is uh, smart policies that enable them to be reskilled, to adapt, uh, to stimulate uh, innovation and specialization in other areas of the, sec uh, the economy, to, to generate new jobs to replace those that have gone, uh, but also uh, policies that give people a bit of a, a, a cushion, a safety net, when they're making that transition uh, from one job or one stage of their life to another. So let's not throw globalization out with the bathwater. Let's keep it. But it has to be supported by smart policies domestically and proper and good rules globally as well, by the way. Okay, I think that this is actually the most important issue in the world today, so I wish we could talk about it for two hours, but we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, thank you very, very much, Pleasure. Peter Mandelson, Joe thank Stiglitz. You. And before we go, I have to puff the piece written by Joe's brilliant <laughs> wife, Anya Schifrin, <laughs> Confessions of a Davos Wife. It is the funniest <laughs> and most revealing thing you will read about Davos. It's on our website.